My name is Alec and I've been a professional programmer for four years and I've written thousands of lines of code across hundreds of different programs. And in just the last 30 days, I've sold almost $3,000 worth of AI art images on Etsy. And in total, I've posted over 3,500 listings across multiple Etsy shops, all within the last year. But I had help, specifically AI and automation tools that boosted my output to a whole different level. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how I did it and how you can use this tool to grow your own Etsy business, generating sales and saving hundreds of hours of time. Now, if you're new to this business, for each listing on Etsy, we need five cropped versions of our original art design in common picture frame sizes that we'll attach as digital files to the listing on Etsy, plus 10 mockups that work as listing images. This is a problem, as it can take 20 minutes or longer to prepare these 15 files. We first need to load a mockup into Photoshop, open the smart object, paste in the art, save it, then export it, and rinse and repeat that nine more times. Then move to the cropping and type in the right aspect ratio, crop the file, then upscale the image so it's large enough for printing and rinse and repeat that four more times. And that is all just for one listing. All of the best selling shops have close to a thousand listings or more. So suddenly we're looking at hours or even days of manual time and effort. With my background in programming and software development, I knew there could be a better way. So I spent the better part of a year refining an automation script to do every single step here completely on autopilot. This automation script, Tempest, is the final product of that effort. In this video, I'll walk you through exactly how it works, how to use it, and where you can go to access it. The first step to setting up the digital conveyor belt is actually to download the Tempest script. This script can be found in the classroom tab of the AI Art Sellers Collective school community. You can get this script in the description down below. After downloading the script, open your file explorer and find a place where you will want all of your art, mockups, and files to live. I'll find a nice spot in my drive and create a new folder with the name of my shop. Let's say it's Evergreen Prints as an example. Now simply drag and drop Tempest into this new folder and we are ready to go. Tempest has two modes, a first time setup mode and a standard run mode. The first time setup mode will only run once on first time setup. So let's go ahead and run it. We'll switch over to Photoshop, go up into File, then Scripts, then Browse, and find that new folder we just moved the script into. And simply select Tempest and hit Load. And just like that, Tempest has come to life. We can now see a first time setup window pop up saying Welcome to Tempest, and that all the folders needed to run the script have been created in the new folder we just ran the script in. We can click OK to dismiss it, and if we switch back to our folders, we can see five brand new folders have popped into existence. Let's go through them one at a time. First, Tempest creates us a backup folder. If we go one level deeper, it even separates the backups out by our three different types of listings. This folder doesn't actually get used in the script, but it's there as a reminder of the healthy practice to back up your mid-journey files before running the script. Going back a layer, we can see a second folder created by Tempest called Input. This is an important one, as this is where we will throw all of our raw mid-journey art files right before we run the script. Tempest will move through each file in here one at a time and run each through all the mockups as well as crop it into the five picture frame ready sizes. Plus, it'll give our images a special number to keep track of them, as well as clean up the file names to make them more readable. More on that later. Next, let's move to the most important folder, the mockups folder. Here, we have three more subfolders, one for each orientation. And if you haven't guessed it already, this is where we will put all of our mockups that we want each design inserted into. Just make sure to put the mockups in the right folder based on their orientation. Also, one special note for the script is to rename the smart object layer in all of your mockups to your design here. This is a must for Tempest, as that's how it can find the right spot to place the art into. So make sure you go into all your mockups and name the art layer your design here. And after the mockups folder, that's about it. The output folder will be where all the files the script generates will go. And there's also a videos folder as well that can be used for video mockups. I'll make a whole separate video on that, but essentially if you have a Photoshop file that is actually a video, 
With a smart object called your design here, the script will run each art file through that video mockup as well, paste the art in and export it. I'll show an example up on the screen, but for this walkthrough, we'll just focus on the standard image mockups. And so with all the folder background out of the way, let's get into using Tempest. I'll flip over to Midjourney and check out this nice 5x4 vintage bird print I generated earlier. Then hit the middle mouse button to open it in the browser. Then simply save it into the backups folder for 5x4 prints with the exact ugly raw file name that Midjourney gives it by default. Now I'll copy it from the backup folder by hitting Control C and then paste it right into input by hitting Control V. And for the very last step, I'll go and grab my 10 mockups from wherever their home is and copy and paste them into the 5x4 mockups folder where they can now live forever, even after we run the script. Let me throw each of these 10 empty mockups up on the screen now to get a feel for what we're working with. Now we are ready to script. Let's go back into Photoshop, go up to File, Scripts, Browse, and once again, click our Tempest script and hit Load. Now a completely different window appears with a few little buttons that it wants us to select. Starting from the top, it asks for an orientation. Since our bird is 5x4, we will pick horizontal 5x4. Next one, do we want to rename and index our files? Yes, we do. The file we added in input has that ugly raw file name, and we want that cleaned up. So to do this, we have to enter our Discord name. This is so that Tempest knows what part of the file name is safe to strip off. So let's enter that now. Note that Tempest says we can actually open the script in Notepad like so, and type in our Discord name as the default Discord name variable in order for Tempest to remember our name for future runs, which can save even more time as a pro tip. But after that, we need to enter in our start index. An index is just a special unique number that we add to our files as well as our listings on Etsy. So we have a nice link between Etsy listings and the files on our computer. For this listing from Lexington Prints, for example, their index is 871. And so on Lexington's computer, they probably named their art file something like Christmas Tree 871. We are also going to want to do that here. So we just pick an index to start with, and it will give each file in our input folder a unique number in the name, going up by one every time. Since this is our first run ever, let's keep this as one. But remember that for future runs, you'll want to use the next number that hasn't been used yet. So if you just ran the script for 25 art files and input, if you make another 25 files and swap those out into input to run this again, make sure you start the index at 26. So the next batch of art files start from there. And that is all we need to do here. These three checkboxes here at the bottom can stay on, even if we don't have any video mockups, for example. However, if we did have mockups, but we didn't want the script to run our art through them for this run, then we could simply uncheck them in the box. And now it's time to unleash Tempest. So let's hit okay and immediately Tempest will get to work. It's hard to follow because Tempest moves so quickly, but it is pasting, cropping, and resizing our image to perfectly fit every single mockup, then saving each as a brand new JPEG file. If we go to our output folder, then the 5x4 folder, we can see something new. A brand new folder created with a prefix of H, an index of one, and a nice little file name describing our art. If we click in, we can see two folders, cropped images and mockups. If we open up the mockups folder, we can get a live glimpse of Tempest in action. Everything it's doing in Photoshop has the end result of a picture perfect mockup being generated in this mockups folder. And if we go back a layer and click into the cropped images folder, we can see the same thing happening here, but with the five custom frame ready aspect ratios we'll be selling to our customers on Etsy all done completely automatically. And there's even one more piece of the puzzle. If we go back to our script folder and click into the input folder, our ugly file name is now gone. And what's left is our nice clean numbered file name in perfect condition. Once the Tempest script is fully completed, we can move this cleaned up file to a different folder for safekeeping. So we can always find it later, based on the index of one. And with that, we have just completed our first successful Tempest run. This script, along with Downpour, which we'll touch on in another video, have been the two biggest time savers for my business, no question. 
And remember, Tempest can run for any number of input files. So instead of just one art design, we could put in a hundred and it would rename every single one and go through the list and create a new folder like it did here in output, then crop the five files and also paste it into the 10 mockups, one after the other, all on autopilot. As one final note, the one time Tempest will behave differently is for frame TV art. So if you insert a 16 by nine art design into input, gather some frame TV mockups into mockups and run the script, you'll see that there is only one file that gets created in the cropped files folder. This is because for frame TV art, we simply provide our customers with the exact 4K file for their TV. Nothing more, nothing less. So just keep that in mind if you run some frame TV art through Tempest and wonder why there's only one cropped file. And that does it for this walkthrough. Please ask questions about this script in the community tab. If you're thinking of a question right now, other community members probably have that question too, so it would be a huge benefit to ask it in the discussion. Or check to see if another community member has answered it previously. Thank you so much for watching, and just remember that after we create all these output files with Tempest, we are just one drag and drop away from uploading each of these folders as listings on Etsy. Check out the video on Downpour to learn how, and I will see you in the next one.